brighter than gold. G'day, we're the Nomadics, a family of five passionate about music, nature connection, and living off grid. Whether it's in our Vesu oil powered house truck, family. or at our base camp on Wadani Buja. We're muddling our way through, and it's always an adventure. Thank you for being part of it. We can be a peace, part of family. In this episode, we have some fun sharing how we're getting by out at sea in a low-tech boat. It's been a while since we've been to shore. Feel the music in my soul Fill it up again Like rain upon the deserts So we've got a bit of a interesting challenge on our hands. We are here at Wara doing a bit of chilankering as we've been wishing for. Uh, but the weather is looking like if we want to go south we're going to have to um, just wait it out for a while. So we're down to the uh, last couple of carrots and a cabbage, uh, so we're going to let you know how it goes. Just come out from a morning swim, and as you can see, things are looking a bit light on in the old veggie department. So, I'm going to tell you a few things about what's keeping us alive with sprouting. So, all you're going to need is some seeds. I've got some alfalfa seeds in there. I've got some mung bead seeds in here. You'll need a, any old glass jar, a bit of mesh, and a lucky band, and some fresh water. Step one, a spoonful of mung for a bath overnight. away from the light, the boys. Step two, just rinse them every day. Little <laughs> job done. So they like a lot of air, they like to be able to drain. The alfalfa is a bit more fiddly. Sometimes, sometimes they even like you to get your fingers in there and give them a little tickle. And then, a couple of days later, something I prepared earlier. Beautiful. We'll be all there. We're not starving yet. Oh, it's a bloody great service that the parents provide. Doing all the things just as fine. So getting fresh water on a boat can be pretty hard sometimes, but on this boat, we're lucky enough to have a desalinator or a water maker as we call it. So with the power of the sun charging our batteries, we're turning salt water into fresh water that we can drink and wash our bodies and cook with. And we run it at about lunchtime each day because at that time the batteries are full. We've got heaps of sun, heaps of energy, and we make about 20 litres a day and that's enough for our family of five. We're gonna be a peace pirate with me. signal so what we do is we, <laughs> we just get our phone stick it in this IGA bag because it's not much use for anything else out here and I've made this little hoist that goes up the mast we clip it on here and up she goes. It's very uh, advanced technology. Yeah and then we just hot spot it and we've got nearly full reception. <laughs> Which comes in handy because we've got three kids on board and we need to keep their homeschooling 
up to scratch. And then when they get hungry, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs, scrambled eggs and your bodies. And when we run out of eggs, Captain Willow taught us a trick that you can use a spoonful of vinegar for every egg when you're baking. <laughs> um, what you got to do is cut your carrot small because you can make hummus, right? And you, the idea is you're getting a dip, you know? You can still dip it. This is good. Gee, that's a nice boat, Scowie. Ah, oh, she's a beauty, mate. Well, folks, that brings us to the end of this scamming video. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we did making it. And we'll see you next time. See you later.